We move to the next fight on the card here. Really fun one. We got Felipe Lynch taking on Iwan Kutelaba. This seems to be the talk of the week here. Um, and, you know, the thing that makes me hesitant here about backing Felipe Lins is I got the same price against the worst fighter I felt like, or a fighter who was a little bit less dangerous, maybe not worse because he could fight the whole 15 minutes, but a fighter that's a little less dangerous in Maxime Grishin, I bet like a plus 140 in that spot. When I'm looking at this though, you know, Iwan Kutalaba is a guy that we know is pretty reliable to fight for about six minutes. And that's it. And sometimes even less than that, you know, he's gassed out in the first round before against the Kennedy and Zechiku and got hurt in that spot after landing a huge punch on Kennedy and Zechiku, whose shin has been called into question by that Dao and Jung performance. He then goes for a takedown, Rich, and takes him down and then gasses out. It's like some people you can't help in this life. So the thing that I, I don't know um, what I want to do with this fight is you got an older guy in Felipe Linz. He could get caught you know, cold early. He does keep his hands a little bit lower and this is a light heavyweight fight. So it inherently has a lot of volatility to it, but I feel like Felipe Lins, better grappler. I feel like Iwan Kutalaba, not good grappling decisions. Uh, we've seen that in a number of fights where he's getting submitted by Johnny Walker. SBG Ireland, stand up, baby. SBG Ireland in the building. Johnny Walker's taking your back in the first round easily. Like just things that for me, uh, did not like to see. So I like the Felipe Lin side here just as an outright pick. Never been an Iwan Kutalaba guy uh, personally. I think Kutalaba could win this fight. I mean, he's got um, steroid takedowns and big punches in the early going. You know, he's a little bit of a wild man, but I just, I'm not sold on Kutalaba. Give me Felipe Lynch. And I think he could mix it up with a submission here. Uh, I think I bet on Lins by submission and have been disappointed in the past when he just grinded out an ugly decision. He, he might do the same thing here, but I just like Linz to have more gas in the tank, despite being the older guy. <clears throat> yeah, just to address what the uh, chat is saying about Carolina being the older person. Um, age doesn't really mean dick in MMA anymore. We've seen that with Robbie Lawler winning at 42. Tim Means most recently. You know, just because somebody's younger doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to win the fight. You could argue against it and say experience comes with age um, against these youngsters. So uh, I don't put too much stock in the, the age of fighters when I'm uh, I'm capping, man. And um, yeah, that goes to show in, in this fight we're talking about now, Linz versus uh, Kutalaba, man. He's got like a 10-year age difference on him. But to be honest, Kutalaba's like 29, but realistically, he's like 40, man, in fight years. The damage he's taken, the fights he's had, the weight class he's fighting at also. Um, and yeah, I'm not impressed, man. He's, his record's bullshit. He gets a win over Devin Clark, who's trash. Um, couldn't finish him. He's, um, who was the other person he fought? There was, there was two, um, most recently he got a win. Oh, Tanner Boza, he, he TKO'd him or didn't he TKO him. first cut to 205. Yeah, that, that was some bullshit. You could argue it was an early stoppage by the ref. And then you look outside of that and all his losses, man, he's got, he's got a fucking few in the UFC. I know Linz is on the source. Um, he's rejuvenated. He's from Dominance MMA, so he's got that Ali link up. So there's a lot of pros on the Lin side for me. I think he's got the grappling edge, which um, Kutalab has shown he's got a big deficiency in, um, getting subbed uh, quite a few times in the UFC. So Lin's at plus 130, I think, is a bit wild. There are a few dog spots on this card, and I think Lin's is one of them. Um, the submission's going down as well. Last time I looked, it was 600. Coming down from 800, I'm not sure what it is now. I'll have a look in a minute. Um, but yeah, I like Lin's. I like Lin's submission. Um, I hope Kutalaba does take him down and it gets reversed. Uh, I think he's got 100% takedown defense, uh, Philip Lin's as well. So that bodes well for him. And um, yeah, he's the side for me, especially at dog odds, man. So. I'm pretty sure that Felipe Lin's opened the favorite at Bet Online. So y'all take that for whatever it's worth. All, all my homies in the chat. Sharpest chat in the game, but y'all make sure you do your homework because uh, pretty sharp odds makers thought that Lynn should be favored here. Public came in and said I, otherwise. So we'll see what happens. Still a volatile fight, still light heavyweight, but yeah, uh, I think that you know odds makers uh, are respecting Felipe Lynn's going out there and getting two 15 minute wins in the UFC, whereas Iwan Kutalaba tends to meme early finishes or lose to guys. So we'll see what happens. That sub number has gone from 800 to 600 to 500 now on um, a bet online. So, yeah, money's coming in on it, man.